Hi, I'm Caroline Hambright, and this is Brighter Days. And guess what? I have ADHD. I'm proud of it. I love it. And I struggle with symptoms daily. ADHD is a complex disorder. There's a lot going on in our brains that make it really difficult to function in modern day society. Symptoms range and can include a lack of focus, absent-mindedness, mood swings, anxiety, the list goes on and on. Today, I'm going to talk about three symptoms that I struggle with a lot. Loss of motivation, not being able to get started, and unhealthy hyperfocus. And I'm going to talk about how all of Prima Painting has helped me get better at managing those symptoms. But let's back up. What is all of Prima Painting? All of Prima means all at once. That's because it's a method of painting that lets you finish in just a few hours. It's a direct method of painting where you pretty much mix the color that's the actual color of the subject of your painting. This is opposed to indirect painting, which involves building up thin layers of paint over time to achieve the color you want. Because it takes less time, all of Prima has a more impressionistic look overall. And since it takes less time, all of Prima is great for people with ADHD. Plain and simple, short tasks are just more likely to get finished. Be honest, if you had to wait for days for layers of paint to dry, how likely are you to be motivated to do another layer once it's done? If you have ADHD, the answer may be not likely. That certainly is true for me. But with all the Prima painting, all I need is a short burst of get it done energy, and I can have a finished painting. And let me tell you, the more you practice finishing things, the more you get the feeling that you can finish things in the rest of your life. So if we choose short tasks and practice focusing and finishing, the better we will be at focusing and finishing doing other things. A quick sidebar here. I'm not saying you can't accomplish tasks with multiple steps that take a long time. Of course you can. I'm just saying that it's more likely you'll lose steam as opposed to your neurotypical friends. And remember, this is not your fault. You are not lazy. In fact, opposite. You probably try harder than most people. It's just that your brain and nervous system are wired up differently. Most people's nervous systems are lit up to take action when things are important or if there's a reward or consequence. Pretty logical. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> That's because ADHD nervous systems are only lit up by stuff you're interested, new or novel things, or pure raw passion. You can't help what's lighting up your literal nervous system. It's your wiring. So don't feel bad about it. And if it causes problems in your life like it does for me, just keep watching this video. Okay, let's talk about another symptom, what I call floundering. Not being able to start a task. It feels like your brain has one of those 25 cent bouncy balls, just bouncing, bouncing, bouncing infinitely. Idea, 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 constant ideas. But the part of your brain that decides which idea to act on just didn't make it to the party. No, literally, your prefrontal cortex's dopamine receptors don't work properly. Again, not your fault. Now, I think part of this problem also comes from not knowing the instructions. So, making the instructions crystal clear is crucial to getting started, keeping going, and finishing. Guess what task has a clear set of steps? Yep, all of Prima Painting. Although those steps can be flexible and it's fun to change them up, for the most part, they remain the same. Again, practicing completing steps over and over helps carve out the pathway in your brain to do this in other areas of your life. Another side note, if you're having trouble in other areas of your life getting started and not knowing the steps or instructions, I do suggest physically writing things down. Writing things down, organizing them, and putting them into steps that you can see really does help. And then there's my favorite symptom of ADHD, hyperfocus. Of course, this is a double-edged sword. Hyperfocus is the incredible ability to dive into a task very deeply. A lot can get done, but we might have trouble remembering to come up for air. And the consequences can be disastrous. Hyperfocus helped me plan entire teaching units, paint and frame a solo art show in a month and a half, and build a 13-foot tall parade float. But at the end of most of those work days, I ended up in a crying hypoglycemic puddle on the floor. For real, I forget to eat, 
and that's dangerous for a person with low blood sugar. It's not pretty. So what's an adhd -er to do? Well, take breaks, of course. Short breaks. We don't want to break the flow of hyperfocus and get distracted by something else, but we do want to take moments to walk away from what we're doing for a little bit. But it's so hard to pull away. True. But it's a little easier if the task you're working on has built-in stopping points. Like a la prima painting, for example. There are points in which it's actually advantageous to walk away and come back 10 minutes later with fresh eyes. So if taking breaks are part of the process and you make a rule for yourself to eat snacks during those breaks, then guess what? Again, you're practicing doing this. You're getting your body and your mind used to it, used to pulling out of hyperfocus for just a little bit, refreshing your brain and jumping right back into it. If you practice this with something fun like painting, I swear it will help you in other areas of your life. So the point here is to practice. I know, I know you're a perfectionist and you want to do it right the first time all the time. <laughs> See how ridiculous that sounds? We can talk more about that in another video, but for now, you need to practice, especially in areas where your brain is working against you. Just like any sport, we practice in a safe, comfortable environment, pushing ourselves just a little bit more each day. And if we practice enough, we'll be ready to win the game when it comes. So for our brain, choosing a safe activity that can be finished in a few hours has clear steps and allows space for short breaks help us carve pathways in our brain to help us in other areas. A la Prima Painting checks all of those boxes. I'm sure there's other activities that check those boxes as well. Let us know about them in the comments. And stay tuned for my next video where I explain the steps of all the prima painting and when to take breaks. And of course, this painting and lots of other paintings are for sale on my website linked below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tips, tricks, painting adventures, and whatever I feel like posting. Bye for now.